Hello, my name is Renee Leith Manos. Welcome to this podcast, Where To From Here. I'm here today to talk about a fabulously luxurious hotel in Beverly Hills, California, and that is the Peninsula Beverly Hills. Now, the Peninsula brand is one of the oldest luxury hotel brands in the world, and they are known for their extraordinary service and the fact that so many people who stay there keep going back. Now, the story about my review is a little bit quirky because I went with my two children and our flight from Sydney to LAX was delayed some eight hours. And my children, being children, refused to leave Sydney Airport and insisted that we sit there for the eight hours in the airport lounge and then take off. So you can only imagine what state we were all in when we were picked up at the airport by the extraordinary Rolls Royce, which is a signature of the Peninsula brand, by the way. You know, all guests at all hotels around the world can request to be picked up. I believe it's a Phantom Rolls Royce with a tan interior and it's just absolutely beautiful. So the car picked us up and whisked us off to the hotel. And I don't think any of the three of us were in a great mood upon arrival. When you arrive at the hotel, it's extraordinary at night. It's a French, almost a French Riviera style of building. It's beautifully lit up. There's gorgeous Rolls Royces and cars parked outside. And of course, the famous Peninsula bellboys who wear gorgeous white hats and beautiful white outfits in a very traditional five-star type of style are all waiting outside for you. So we walked into the hotel. The lobby is quite low key. It's very cream and white, but it's the staff who are there who were just so warm in greeting us, making sure that we're okay. And they really grabbed our passports very quickly to check us in and said, please, we've kept the restaurant open for you. We know your flight's been delayed and you must be hungry, which of course we were, and particularly the children were starving. So we went into this restaurant, which is called the Belvedere. It's actually the Peninsula Beverly Hills fine dining restaurant. The food is a Western style menu. I guess it has a bit of an American bent. The staff were so lovely and gorgeous with my children. They made sure that they had something to eat that they basically cooked to order what the children requested because you know what it's like after a long flight, there's certain things you might just feel like that's something clean. I just felt like a Caesar salad, a very typical American dish, and I had a piece of fish with some sides. But the quality of this food was just extraordinary. And again, particularly just at that moment, it was exactly what we needed. They didn't delay. They brought the food fairly quickly. There were lots of staff there to make sure we had plenty of water and the drinks that we wanted because we were obviously just severely jet lagged. And it was just one of the most wonderful welcomes. The hotel has 195 rooms and 38 of those are suites. All of them are larger than the standard size rooms of hotels in the area in Beverly Hills. And look, they have a very French feel as well. Most of them have French doors leading to a balcony. They're quite floral um, and cream in color. There is a beautiful bathroom in each of them, which has marble. And of course, there are Oscar de la Rente products, beauty products, complimentary, which is just beautiful to use you know, during your stay. But when we arrived into our room, the most amazing thing is that they have pillowcases personally embossed with initials. And because, as I said, my two children were traveling with me, we each received a pillowcase embossed with our initials that we were encouraged to take with us, or we could leave at the hotel so that next time we stayed, it was still there. They also made us a gorgeous cake, which had the logo of my business on it, which was just absolutely wonderful and in addition they had beautiful little chocolate sort of um, arrays or little arrangements for the children so we literally after all of that jet lag we were well fed we felt very loved and cared for and then we had these extraordinarily generous treats awaiting for us it was just the most wonderful beginning to our fantastic stay at this hotel Certainly one of the highlights of the hotel is the rooftop pool. I mean, this is an A-lister's dream. And, you know, being located in Beverly Hills, there are often super famous people sitting by the pool. You can pay and hire for a cabana for the day and just sit there. And of course you can eat there. You can even have your breakfast there if you're staying in-house. It's got this beautiful blue and white uh, themed decor with the beautiful blue of the pool. Again, the service there. I mean, they're continually bringing drinks if you're sitting by the pool and you're hot. 
Uh, there's some amazing lockers where you can store things. And in fact, when we checked out, we had quite a lengthy period to wait to leave the hotel. And the staff were wonderful and just said, look, put your things in a locker, enjoy a day by the pool. We'll wait on you and have your lunch or whatever you want to eat. So yeah, that was definitely a highlight for us as a family. Food venues in the hotel. As I said, the Belvedere Fine Dining Restaurant is just exquisite super sophisticated, glamorous and elegant with just extraordinary food and just huge attention to detail. Although all of those things can be applied to everything, every aspect of a stay at this uh, you know, beautiful hotel. But in the lobby, there's like a lounge off the lobby where there's a bar where you can have a fantastic you know, afternoon tea, high tea. And it's got these beautiful windows with these lounges. And it's really the key place in the hotel for your Instagram photo um, to sit with friends and family and really just relax and catch up, particularly if you've been out shopping. Shopping is definitely an integral part of a stay here because the hotel is walking distance to Rodeo Drive, which is great. But even better than that, the hotel has a complimentary car. I think it takes you around 5Ks away from the hotel. So that includes Rodeo Drive and various other shopping areas and restaurants, things that are close to the hotel. So it just means you don't have to go through the hassle of getting into a taxi and all of that. And being America, you just give them a tip and they really take you everywhere. everywhere. But of course they take you in absolute luxury in style. The spa is also on the rooftop and Peninsula Spas the world over are famous for unmatched body treatments, massages, skin care and basically anything a guest asks for. At the Peninsula of Beverly Hills they have the Precious Diamond Harmony Massage that has a massage oil infused with real diamonds. Now of course you will pay a high price for this but it's pretty amazing. There's a fitness center there as well, uh, and they share the spa locker rooms and they have steam showers, which again, I really enjoy, particularly before a treatment, because it opens your pores and it can be really, really relaxing. The gym is equipped with really good techno gym cardio machines, um, free weights, there's everything there that you could want. And again, I always think this is a really important part of a stay at a hotel like this, because if you're jet lagged, I really try and work out every day because it makes the jet lag go much, much quicker. And if that's not enough, the hotel has a club bar, which does have a very masculine, sophisticated kind of feel. And again, this is a place where you are highly likely to see somebody famous. And look, what is the etiquette people ask me if I'm staying in a hotel like the Peninsula Beverly Hills and I see someone famous? Well, look, the etiquette is not to go up to them. I mean, you know, we can only imagine what it's like to be super famous to be trying to have a drink and escape or whatever it is with your family, with a friend, and then strangers are continually coming up, interrupting, asking you for information, whether it's your autograph, a photo. Um, you know, some of them can be accommodating when they get up to leave, I've found. If you are going to approach someone, that is definitely the time to do it, but don't be disappointed if they say no, and really the etiquette is not to do it. And if you're not staying in the hotel, the uh, hotels like this and many others in Beverly Hills and even in London, they can often ask you to leave because it is considered intrusive and a bit rude, but that should not stop you going to have a drink in the bar. As I said, the French feel uh, within the hotel really um, does give it a bit of an edge. The hotel was built about 29 years ago and so has already undergone a renovation. So that just shows that in a, you know, a town like Beverly Hills, you have to get a facelift pretty regularly to keep up with the crowd. Um, another lovely aspect I haven't talked about are the gardens. There's some pathways outside the hotel with some, I believe, some lemon trees and some foliage. Again, when you have children with you, um, you know, aspects like that, it can just be nice to go out for a little walk for 10 minutes in the morning and kids quite enjoy it. The Peninsula brand is really known for looking after children. And I've experienced that a number of times when I visited their hotel with my twins. Um, they have everything there from cake baking and making sessions to, I know in LA when we were there, they had a princess session where my daughter went off in the beautiful Rose Royce and was pampered and had some photos and all sorts of things. But I'm not gonna go into too much detail about those things because they change all the time. Um, but all I can say is reassure you, one thing that is pretty consistent in all of the hotels is a back of house tour. So that's when kids get taken behind the scenes, they get shown the secret doors, you know, the locker rooms of the staff, where the chocolates are, are melted and made and all of the things that kids love. And I know that my kids still talk about that several years later from their various peninsula stays 
and how much they loved it. It's more like going back to family. And one of the really fantastic things that people do um, underrate a bit about this hotel is you can actually check in at any time. Most hotels, even the highest end ones, you have to check in at two or three or after a certain time. That is not the case here. You can check in basically 24 hours as long as you let them know. And another insider secret I learned when I was staying there is I believe the staff at the hotel have a meeting very early in the morning. They all sit at a round table and they go through the list of the guests who are coming. So they know if you stay at other properties, they know if you have your children with you, they know if you have food allergies, they know what your name is. So that's why when you arrive at a hotel like this, you do feel like everyone knows you because they've been briefed, which is just another sign that this hotel group just has an edge and really is prioritizing the care of the guest and making sure they feel welcome, that it's intimate and still glamorous and that they feel looked after. And of course, any quirks that they do have, you know, are catered for. And people often ask me what they should pack to wear at a beautiful hotel like this. And look, the Peninsula Beverly Hills is actually quite understated and relaxed. I would certainly pack, you know, as a woman, something lovely to wear to dinner um, for any time you're having dinner at Belvedere. And as well as your children, it is a venue that you will want to dress up for. There's a beautiful outdoor patio there and you really can sit and people watch and fashion watch because the women of Beverly Hills and the people who stay at the Peninsula certainly know how to dress. You'll need a fantastic swimsuit because there is no way you are not going to use the pool and sit by the pool at this incredible uh, hotel and on the rooftop of this incredible hotel. And of course, something to put on a wrap, um, you know, when you are by the pool will certainly help. But other than that, you know, just enjoy this hotel. It is a great hotel to stay at if you're going to Disneyland. They can organise everything for you. You can be picked up from the hotel and what an oasis to come back to after a crazy day at Disneyland. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe here and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for regular travel updates. You can also hear our episodes on Spotify and Apple Podcasts.